There's the White House and there's some new numbers out for the next person who might be there, the presidential election, and there's some concern for President Biden. Just 36% of Democrats and Democrat-leaning independents want Biden on the ballot. So what's the reason and what kind of impact is that having on the race so far? Okay, it's Chief Political Correspondent for Sinclair, Scott Thuman, running the numbers. While President Biden will often quote a glowing low 3.4% unemployment rate, there are other numbers he'd rather not see. 68% of Americans saying he's too old for another term, likely driven in part by a meager 36% approval rating, down 6% since February. ABC News reporting that's the lowest ever for a first-term president at this point in office, worse than Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, or Donald Trump, none of whom were re-elected. Biden, the oldest of all of them. Why would an 82-year-old Joe Biden be the right person for the most important job in the world? Because I have acquired a hell of a lot of wisdom. I know more than the vast majority of people. I'm more experienced than anybody's ever run for the office. But black, independent, and young voters appear disgruntled. On election day, Biden won black voters by 75 points. Now, only 35% of black Americans approve of the job he's doing, a red flag for party elders. They should wake up and look at those numbers. And with the historic numbers that we saw in 2020, that coalition right now is fragmented. That should concern them. Which could pique interests of other Democrats eyeing the White House. But you think about ambitious governors, uh, the governor of California, the governor of Illinois, uh, who could look at this and say there is an opening to challenge. The bad news, though, not limited to Biden. A majority of Americans believe former President Trump should be criminally charged amid multiple ongoing investigations. And this week, still facing accusations of rape in a civil trial. A woman that I have no idea who she is, she's not my type. And that's 100% true, she's not my type. But despite that large number who believe Trump should face criminal charges, he still leads Biden by seven points in a potential matchup. In Washington, I'm Scott Thuman.